Hey guys, it's John from Moss Bootcamps here. Are you someone that's never exercised before but you really want to get into it? Here are a few things that you should know before you start training. I'd recommend going and seeing a fitness professional at least for a few sessions to make sure that you're moving safely and correctly in order to stop yourself from getting injured early on. They can also help you out with program design to set you up for the future, see it as an investment into your future self. If one-on-one -on -one personal training is just a bit out of your budget, why not try a group fitness class? This way you've still got eyes on you, but at a lesser cost. Group fitness classes are also a lot of fun and you'll make new friends there. If you would still rather train by yourself in a gym, then I recommend that you do the research before entering the gym. On the internet, there's a huge amount of information that you can get, especially on YouTube, which has full demonstrations of all the exercises to make sure that you go into the gym and move safely and correctly and reduce your risk of injury. Use the KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid. Okay, so you don't want to go too advanced with a program early. All you need is a squat, a deadlift, a row, and a bench press, and an overhead press. Those five movements will give you everything you need for a full body program that's gonna give you really good results. When you're a little bit more advanced and you want something a little bit more exciting, you can add some more stuff in, but start with those five exercises. They will give you a great full body workout and make sure you're building muscle mass, burning fat, and burning calories. Know that when you first get started, yes, you're excited and you'll probably start off really well, but know that in maybe a few weeks or months, the motivation levels will dip. Therefore, you need to build a good routine and a good habit. So make sure that you incorporate that early by training on set days and at set times. That way you build a good habit and a good routine. Also, you'll start to become more disciplined. So when the motivation levels dip, the discipline will be there to keep you training. Also realize that results take time. You may not see changes in your body quickly, but there's a few reasons for that. One of the reasons is that you look at yourself every day. So you're, gonna, you're not gonna see the changes as much as other people see the changes. And also results take time. You're not gonna see a huge change in your body straight away. This takes hard work and dedication to give yourself a few months, even a few years, to make sure that you get to the body composition that, that you want to get to. If you go into the gym thinking that you're gonna lose a lot of weight or put on a lot of muscle really quickly, then when that doesn't happen, which it won't because it takes a lot of time, you're going to be disappointed and you'll stop training. So go into the, heads, go into the gym with the headspace that is gonna take a lot of time, hard work and dedication, and you'll stick to your training program because you'll, it's more realistic. I hope these tips have helped you if you're looking to start exercise. If you are, if you are looking for a group fitness uh, class, you can visit www.ozbootcamps.com Com. So you can come down to my group fitness class and I'll be more than happy to help you get on your way to a new healthier you.